are you positioning yourself towards high-end clients and towards your ideal audience? My name is Tine Kerense from Powerful Business Academy. I help business women to scale and grow their business and double their income within a year, guaranteed. So how do you know to position yourself towards your ideal client and how do you do that so that you can ask high prices? Tip number one, what is your former experience in the same area as where your clients are? So for example, if you want to target tech industry and tech companies, what is your experience within tech or what is your former experience in the service that you offer? For example, if you offer a PR, how long have you been doing that? And if you've just started your business, how long have you been doing that before when you worked for someone else? Now, if you don't have experience, you just need to start from that. Then you need to build and you need to be around for a couple of years to talk about experience. Okay, but tip number one, what is your experience towards the audience that you target and the service that you offer? So it works both ways. Tip number two, what big clients did you already have in the same industry as where you target, uh, where you target to? If you never had big clients in that industry, you need to start working towards getting your first big client. Because once you have one, you can use them as reference. You can say, I've had them as my clients and I had this result with them. Now, you sometimes may not be allowed to talk about that. But you might be able to use their logo or you might be able to get a reference or something. Yeah, so it is important that whenever you want to target high paying clients, you need to at least find the first one. And that's up to you, to your sales strategy to, uh, and, and your positioning. Tip number three, see if you can get recommendations of your target audience. If you want high paying clients and you've never had high paying clients, it's more difficult, but you need to start somewhere, don't you? So as soon as you've had one of those clients and you've had results, you need to make sure that you get reference, testimonial, written or better in video. All right? Tip number four, what guarantee do you offer? Is there a guarantee, something that you know, that you're confident about, that the result your client will have? If there's one thing that you can guarantee, you need to make that promise. You need to promote that. That's part of your positioning towards your ideal client. All right? Tip number five. What results will your clients have? So, just before I tip number four was about the guarantee, that's one guarantee, but there will be probably more results that your clients have. You need to know what results your clients will have and you need to promote those results. That's part of your positioning, okay? And tip number six, you need to show them how much money they can make with your service or how much money they will save with your service. Especially if you target to, uh, to big organizations uh, or to men, often they are very money driven. So it is important that you need to be able to show them how much money they will make when they pay you. And of course that always needs to be more than what they pay you, yeah? So that's important. If they pay you the same amount as what they save or what they gain, it's not really worth doing that. Unless you can say, hey, listen, but you only pay me once. Now, if you do this every year, in five years, you have saved so much or you have gained so much, then it is worth hiring you. Okay, so you need to do the math. You need to make the numbers, all right? 
So I hope you like the tips. Um, it's always difficult in the beginning. Uh, you need to find the first people to get the momentum going. One of the tips I always give to my clients is if you have someone of your ideal audience, don't, uh, don't ask a high price. Just be honest, say you want to be, uh, say it's, it's a case study or something, offer it even for free the first time, because, but in return, they need to give you a reference, testimonial, you can use their logo, whatever. Um, and then you can start building from there. The second client, you ask um, more money, uh, you ask money. And the third client, you ask even more money. So you also need to get more confident in high, high, um, asking higher prices, okay? So if you want to double your business within a year, and then we will work on every area in your business, not just this one topic we just discussed, you can schedule a free 15 minute call with me. My promise is, is that I help you scale and grow your business within a year and double your income. Now I can't promise that to everyone. So you need to have at least a business to business. So you have to have businesses as your clients or business owners and you need to have a service. So if you have those two things and you're keen to find out how I can help you, schedule that 15 minute call. And from there on, we'll see if we like each other because that's the most important thing. And if you're uh, able to work with me. Thank you very much for watching this video today. And I hope to see you next time when I address another topic for female entrepreneurs to scale and grow your business. Bye-bye.